Aston, Pennsylvania, a suburb of Philadelphia, is the home of the Aston Rebels, a junior hockey team currently crushing it in the playoffs. But it's a difficult road for these 16 to 20 year olds. Now, unlike uh, football or baseball or, or any other of the sports, where you go from high school to, to college, that doesn't happen in hockey. Um, you have to go to the wonderful world of junior hockey. And um, just for a statistic, last year alone, only 11 people in the United States went from high school to college hockey. I'm speculating, but probably they're from Minnesota. Our season consists of 60 games. Uh, we practice four to five times a week, plus two, two to three games a week. And our coaching staff stresses uh, preparation and recovery for our, our, our contests on the weekends. Uh, so with the l amount of travel and competitions we have, our recovery and turnaround from a Friday night game to a Saturday night game is very important. So most of our starting players uh, use the recovery pump as a supplement to what else we do with our stretching and our bike riding. But it's a great way for them to get fresh for the next morning, especially when we have less than a, a 12 hour to 15 hour turnaround for games. The Rebels home ice is Iceworks, a world-class facility known for hosting high level competitions. Make no mistake though, the Rebels have to make the most of every dollar and every inch of space. We are also located inside the locker room. Yeah. So it's not a private area. So this is our lounge slash locker room slash treatment area, first aid area, storage space. That's the way you do it. Uh, we are a very close team. Yeah. So this is the path to the shower, and it's also the path to get your stitches in the middle of the game. And the team's recovery pump is a hot commodity, seeing lots of use. We were in Minnesota for five days, and that unit was probably used. 12 hours a day each day. So it went from probably our almost entire defensive lineup did it. Our four top forwards use it. We have league finals, we have league playoffs, and we need them to be in the best shape that they can be in. It's, it's a grind. They're on the ice Friday and Saturday night. Uh, it's a very physical game. Uh, it's not cheap. Meaning cheap, cheap, I mean, it's not like watching slap shot, but I mean, you know, it's a very physical game. Uh, and they're on the ice four or five times during the week. So recovery is very, very important. Well, if you want to make it in the pros, if you want to make it to the pros, you got to take care of your body. I mean, that's, <laughs> that, that's the bottom line. And I've learned that early in my career. Um, if you don't take care of your body, your chances of making it are very slim. So um, from the beginning, get your proper rest, you know, flush your system, be as healthy and as active and as ready to play. When coach calls your number, you should be ready to play. It's a huge leap to the NHL, but the tools these NAHL players are using today will sustain them as they pursue their goals. I like the recovery pump um, because of the ease of use, um, its portability, both on the road trips and in our training facility. Uh, the players can, can set it themselves use it, uh, that they feel comfortable using it. There's nothing that I have to explain other than how to set the pressure, set your time, sit back, play on their iPhones, and, and enjoy the, uh, the treatment. I've, I've worked for three pro sports teams. So, um, you know, I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly, and we all have, but we've been, we've been honored and blessed to have a great owner, and we, we've all bought into his philosophy. And, and recovery is the way. And